we've collaborated to try and develop programs that help um, people from the communities to learn the kinds of skills that are needed to be able to really put their forward, stories forward to the media in a way that the media are going to take up and want to run with. And also um, some advice on how to start doing more of their own stories for their own community media or blogs or internet opportunities and things like that. I'm a Griffith University journalism student and my professor recommended to come to this media forum just to get an idea um, because we have a, an assignment about um, on indigenous, uh, we have to write an indigenous story and uh, he wanted us to attend this just to get an idea, you know, of like, I'm, I'm new to Australia, so this is just to give me an idea about the diversity and just see how the discussion goes, just out of curiosity really. Um, I'm actually a fourth generation Australian South Sea Islander. I see. Yeah, and um, I currently live in Logan and I'm uh, a part of a VASIG, which is a Vanuatu Australian South Sea Islander community group in Logan. I think because we're a very new and an emerging community group, so this is this will be most beneficial for us to promote what we do in our local community. So just to gain the, the skills and the and the tools, yeah, to get our to get our name out there. Yeah. I'm a journalism student at QUT at the moment. Um, I'm interested in writing in the future on multicultural issues, particularly multicultural Australia. Um, I abhor racism and so I'm sort of very interested in educating people as much as possible, um, you know, that we live in a, a beautiful uh, multicultural society. Um, and I've just started blogging as well and I'm hoping that, um, you know, in the future I can educate people through my blog. What I'm expecting tonight, well, obvious, the obvious thing is total cohesion with all of us and, and within the wider community here in Brisbane. I, I'm really hoping because I do feel that we need, we need to uh, have this harmony today so that people recognise that um, it doesn't matter how you come to Australia, in the long run, Renton, they're all immigrants because my people were the original people of this land. They were the first citizens. Yes. So in actual fact, I think that's one of the things that we should look at and recognise and accept. And so I'm hoping that that's what we achieve. Plus, I want to make a few contacts and I also want to talk to people about my own history, which is from the uh, Kanaka side which we say is Vanuatu. I was invited to come along to give the opinion of the mainstream media because I'm actually quite passionate about including different faces, different voices and trying to reflect the society that we do have in Australia and currently that isn't reflected. And it's very difficult to change that but I hopefully I'm changing it A from a gender perspective by just being a news director and being a female news director there's only about two of us in the country, um, in television anyway. And hopefully that can extend through to having other cultures be part of the mainstream media. So I'm interested in that. Yeah, now you're talking to me. So <laughs> everywhere, no matter where you go in life, wherever God gives you a chance, there is something happen. And then it brings, you know, the future. Because unless you make a move, you can't. So I always feel here you learn, you're a media person. And I love meeting the same kind of thinking people. Yep. So I think that was a real interesting to be here to learn about more people, to meet people, and it's multicultural.